Hello, Therese Lawler here. So welcome to my blog called Therese in Rivers. I made this specifically to post stuff into that is about rivers. And um, so far I've created posts about the Rivers History and Anthropology Museum. I have a lot of them. I have been posting photos about the museum, um, all of these ceramics that they have. And I've taken the posts on the wall that they have, the little signs, and written them in Spanish, and then typed them up, then translated them. And I'm going to be making them into a lesson. Um, it's going to be an English and Spanish lesson in the same blog post. I also just have been writing about my experience here in Rivas. It has been a really fun time. I am approaching my one month mark on December 16th. I arrived here on November 16th and I had a lot of fun right at the start. And um, I went to uh, Rivers Gigantes baseball game and I had a lot of fun and I've been going to every single one of them ever since here in Rivers. They're absolutely a lot of fun to watch because they mostly win and um, they do a really awesome job. I have been loving going to this soda that is near the rotunda. I first went there when I first arrived here. I got bulalo type soup and I was like, is this bulalo? And um, they were like, no, it's like uh, some soup with meat and vegetables. And it's made kind of like bulalo, but it's not exactly like bulalo, but I've absolutely been loving all of their food. So I've been eating there for breakfast and lunch and sometimes dinners as well. And then um, I have also been loving going to this pizza place near the park. Um, I love their Hawaiian pizza. I go there every so often. There is a chicken place near the park as well. I absolutely love their chicken. Um, it's grilled. And then I have Jamaica, which is a type of drink that's made out of flour, like a, a flower, like a, a bulaklak or like the plant that like blooms and is pretty. It's a flower, it's called Jamaica. And I absolutely love Jamaica. Um, I tried that when I first arrived here, but it was my first time having it and I was a little hesitant to try it because it was made out of a flower. And then um, recently I tried uh, rice with pineapple drink. I guess it's a type of rice that might be like ground up or like the uh, water from the rice and then it's got um, a little bit of pineapple and it tastes like a pineapple shake of some sort. It is very enjoyable. Um, I also have been going to two grocery stores, mainly Maxi Pali. Um, that's the grocery store I learned about from my friend from Academia Europea who helped get me over here. Her name's Vicky. Um, and then the other one is a Colonia. And Colonia is uh, a newer grocery store, but I finally was told about it um, a little bit less than last, a, a little bit less than a week ago. And I was like, how come no one told me? Like, no one really told me about this other grocery store. And because I went there and I found Downy and I've been looking for Downy forever to put for my clothes because when you wash it and then it dries, it kind of has that, um, it's got that hand washed smell to it. And then, uh, but with Downy, uh, it definitely ends up smelling very, very nice. And I finally found out that there is another grocery store called Colonia and that they have Downy and I was really happy. So <laughs> little things make me happy, but Downy definitely does. I love the scent of freshly made laundry. I also, have been going to the um, market called Mercado, uh, which is a, like a little place that sells all sorts of fun stuff. It is on my way to the museum and I love um, passing by all the different stalls. Um, I got uh, guavas, mangoes, no, not mangoes, uh, rambutan, which is mamones liche here. Um, I've been to the beach twice. The first time I went there, I went on my own and I just got a taxi to take me to there for 150 Cordobas there and back and I was just taking photos and I took just a few photos while I was at the beach and uh, the cool view that they have of uh, Volcano Concepcion and then I came right back. The second time I went, I went with my friend who works at the soda, her name's Jocelyn and I went with her family and had a lot of fun. I got to go into the water I got to try a soup and it was really delicious and it was a really amazing time. 
so um, I have to say overall I really love being in Rivas it's a really cool place and I've made all sorts of posts on my Instagram but not as many here on um, my blog Trees in Rivas um, because I've mostly been busy with posting uh, about the different signs that they have in the museum and then translating those but in the future I would like to post more things about Rivas um, the other thing uh, that I made a really cool video about was their bakery here in town. Um, I absolutely love their bakery. They have really awesome muffins. I also tried their cake. Um, I've tried like some sort of other pastry that was like a pineapple pastry. It seemed like it was a pie crust with a little bit of pineapple filling and um, it had uh, all sorts of um, cool uh, little... Um, Cool little uh, like little uh, pie pastry type thing like on top like it was latticed like a pie anyway so I really loved um, going there I'm sitting in front of a hostel right now it's not my hostel but uh, they have a really cool background looks very Nicaraguan looks very Hispanic so I thought why not make a video here because my hostel has a really really plain background and I wanted something that's like a cooler background. Anyway, that is it for my video. Thank you so much for following me and for uh, checking out my blog posts, um, liking um, my posts, and um, I hope you stay tuned and learn a little bit more about Rivas, Nicaragua. Yes, it is a small place that no one has ever heard of, and I would have never heard of this place were it not for Vicky, who was like, okay, if you guys are gonna do your border run, you have to go to Rivas. And I actually didn't listen to Vicky, and we booked a, a bus ticket to Managua. My friend Margaret and I, who had to do border run, I was like, nah, not Rivas, because the bus uh, ticket seller guy told us that there wasn't a lot of hotels in Rivas and that we should go to Managua. And then we told Vicky, I was like, Vicky, we booked a bus ticket to Managua because the guy said that there's no hotels in Rivas. And that it's far away. She was like, no, 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 no. You're going to Rivas because Managua is at least three more hours further. And you're going to have a hard time getting there and then leaving right the next day. So we went to Rivas and um, had a great time. I um, was at the hotel and um, there were these guys walking around. And I was like, who are these guys? And one of them was a friend of, became a friend of mine. But when I first saw him, I was like, I don't know what, like, you know, like, I don't know this place. I'm not about to be like, okay, let's make friends and let's go hang out, you know, at a restaurant or something. So I didn't say anything. Um, and I just kind of sat in my room for the night because I was just, um, you know, doing a border run. But then the next day I had no internet still. And so I went outside of the hostel and he came out and he was like talking to me. And I was like, I need internet and help me get internet. And I was like, we need to get to the bus station. And he walked us to the bus station. So I became friends with him. Um, so I chatted with him on WhatsApp. And uh, I decided um, right before my money completely ran out in San Jose to come here and wait here until my car keys uh, and my car title got sent to uh, my storage lady and she could help me uh, sell my car and uh, a friend in Rochester is helping me post a Craigslist ad and so I'm just hoping to wait here until I get the funds from that and continue teaching in Central America either in Managua by uh, reapplying to Academia Europea there or just by teaching online through Open English, Palfish and whatever else company I can find. And so, um, yeah, I think that would be the best option for me, especially since if things don't work out for me with teaching online, I can try to go to Managua where there are a lot of language schools and try to apply to there and um, teach in a Spanish-speaking country because um, I've always wanted to go to Thailand and teach in Thailand, and I still might. However, I do not know a single word in Thai except for like, my, 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 which means near and far and it's very tonal and you have to like listen to it like carefully and then there's the reading the Thai characters I would have a really hard time doing that 
It's Spanish. I've been learning it since fourth grade. I learned it fourth grade to twelfth grade, and then I did my own lessons online. Um, using Babel, Rosetta Stone, just listening to music, watching some Spanish videos. And I have a pretty good grasp on it. I think I probably understand 80% if it's like normal Spanish that you learn in class. But if it's like other kinds of Spanish, like there's specifically like Costa Rican and Nicaraguan Spanish, I don't understand any of that at all. So, um, you know, it all depends on the context, but I would say about 80%. Um, I have a hard time speaking it because it's my fourth language. Uh, I consider Visaya and Tagalog two different languages, um, which I learned when I was little, and then English, and then now it's Spanish. So every time I want to speak in Spanish, like if it's hurried, I want to speak in English first, and then after that, if I can't find what I want to say in um, Spanish still, I end up wanting to say things in Visaya. So it's really hard for me to just all of a sudden like speak in Spanish like fluently, and when I do speak in Spanish, I just try to get everything out, not conjugated properly. I don't think I've ever really applied present perfect or past perfect, like extremely perfectly, but I can do like present tense, I can do some past tense. And yeah, so I'm definitely getting much better um, the more that I learn Spanish and just live in Central and Latin America and um, I'm continuing to study it um, using a book that's specifically about Nicaraguan Spanish and I'm writing it down and I'm having a lot of fun with that. So, so far it's been a really, really um, amazing trip. It's been very fruitful as far as being able to take all sorts of cool photos that I've been posting on my Instagram, my Facebook, some on the blog. And I hope to continue to stay here a little bit longer. If not, I'll have to go home and sell my car and then come right back. Um, I'm planning on leaving most of my things with a friend here so that I don't have to lug a lot of things home because I really can't teach English in California because everyone speaks English. And then also it's really expensive to live there. So it's better if I stay here and then teach English here and uh, just, you know, have fun here. So that is my plan. That is it for my video. Thank you for watching. Therese and Rivas signing off. Peace.